Hey guys, Chris O here. Welcome back, or if you're new tuning in, welcome in general. Uh, today I'm going to talk about why I don't like Top Dasher on Dornash, uh, why I think it sucks, but in specifics, I want to talk about the Dash Now feature for it, why I think it's a terrible thing and they should abolish it. I, I think it's ruining things for drivers. So let's, uh, let's have a chat about why Dash Now sucks utterly sucks and is ruining your earnings, ruining everyone's earnings on the platform. So first and foremost, we just need to understand uh, what what is Dash now? Okay, so Dash now, if you have top Dasher status, means that you can just log into any zone at any time uh, and, and work. It just gives you an override on your account to drop into a zone and start working for as long as you want, whenever you want. That's essentially Dash now as the top Dasher feature. So why does that suck? Well, let's first have a look at, uh, let's understand zones. So zones will have different colors when you log into the Dasher app. It'll be gray, uh, a, a very light red, then a red, then a very dark red. Uh, gray being, it, it's not busy. It's not busy at all. It's saying, um, then light red is a little bit busy. Red, yeah, it's busy. Then like a dark red uh, means very busy. So why do the colors change? Well. It's got to do with the scheduling for dashes. So do we have dashes on to meet the demand of orders or expected demand of orders currently happening on the platform? So when we see gray, it means cool, we've got enough dashes here logged in currently to meet the demand or the expected demand for the platform. So we have that, that, that demand is met, turn it gray. So that could be 10 dashes on dealing with 30 orders an hour. Um, it'll say cool, grey, that's what we expect and you know that's that's going to match it across. Um, or there could be 100 dashes on dealing with 300 orders per hour and you know it's going to be like cool, we've got a demand met. So we've got enough dashes logged in right now to meet the demand or expected demand that we're having. So just turn it grey, um, we don't want any more dashes coming in, we've got enough people on to meet the, the demand that we're seeing. If it's slightly red it might mean oh, okay cool we've got some more orders on then we have dashes currently logged in and scheduled. So let's turn a little bit red to open it up for more dashes. Just click on it, click to dash now. Um, so you don't need to be a top dasher to do that. When the colors change, of course, guys, so if it's a light red, red or dark red, um, anyone top dasher or not top dasher can, we'll see dash now pop up on the screen and they can log through onto it. So um, that means that, okay, cool. There's more orders coming in, um, you know, red, busy or very busy on the dark red essentially indicating oh hang on we've got a problem we're short on drivers on the road and we're expecting a surge or we currently have a surge of orders occurring uh turn it dark red let's try get more people logging in let's say it's very busy right now that way you have dashes sitting there ready to meet the demand for orders so why is the top dasher dash now perk a problem why don't i like it why do i hate it why do I think it's ruining your earnings, earning my, ruining my earnings, ruining everyone's earnings on the platform? Well, because, um, as I stated before, um, a light red, red, or dark red, anyone can dash. Anyone can click onto it, dash now. Top dasher, not top dasher, doesn't matter. Um, but if it's gray, that means a top dasher with the dash now feature can log in. So the market has already said we have enough drivers logged in currently to deal with the order demand. We've got that met. But then a top dasher can jump in, log in anyway, and suddenly that's diluting the orders going around. Now, if it was a light red, normal red or dark red, um, anyone, can, anyone can log in. So top dasher, dash now feature, redundant for that. That means the top dasher, dash now feature is only for the gray zone. It's only for gray zone guys. So this entire purpose is to dilute, to, to dilute. Uh, its entire purpose is to dilute an already met market. So diluting the orders around between more drivers logged in. That's not good. So if you are a top dasher of Dash now and you log into a gray zone, you're one diluting the orders for yourself. You're not going to be as busy as possible, and you're dil diluting the orders for all the other drivers. So the probability each time a top dasher dashes in or dashes now into a gray zone where the demand's already met, it's diluting probability of not only that dasher, but every other dasher in the market currently logged in 
from getting in order because it's got to cycle around through those dashes meaning the dash now program for top dashes is its only purpose is for gray zones when the demand is already met its only purpose is to dilute the probability of that dasher and every other dasher in the market to get an order that's not good that is a terrible feature so now we can imagine like one dasher doing it one top dasher doing it imagine 10 20 30 imagine if the it's gray and say there's 50 dashes on right now um, it's a busy night or something like that. There's 50 dashes on and they're, you know, meeting the order demand. Maybe there's 150, 200 orders an hour, something like that. I don't know the specifics. I don't know the numbers. Um, I, I don't get them analytics. I don't have any of them analytics. But uh, say say the, the demand's met. It's gray. Now, there's 50 dashes on. Now, say there's 50 top dashes that, you know, aren't scheduled in or anything like that. And they're just used to clicking like, oh, I'll just click down, dash now. They see a gray zone in their area. And then 50 top dashes all click to dash now into that gray zone. Suddenly, the probability for every single dasher, top dashes included, of getting an offer come through to them, because it's rotating through a queue, has halved. You've halved the work by doing that. That's not good. That's when people start sitting around. And then even to the worst point of that is when DoorDash's system fires up and goes, it goes boop, boop, boop. oh, we've got way too many dashes on right now. Uh, and then suddenly, people start getting quietly, uh, quietly, how do you say it? Now, I'm quietly <laughs> logged out from the app. So you might see people getting paused randomly. You might see people just sitting there getting nothing, but then when they jump back, screen go back in, it says they've been paused for the last 20 minutes. So they've been quietly logged down. Some just get dropped out completely because there's too many people in. And DoorDash is like, oh, we got way too many people in. We have a surge of people in. And that's because it was gray. And then the Dash Now feature for top dashes has allowed so many more drivers to come into an already met demand zone, into a gray zone, and it's killed the market. And everyone's like, starts complaining, oh, it's slow, it's slow. Oh, there's no orders coming through. Oh, I'm getting like one order every 30 minutes, if that. Because top dashes with Dash Now are jumping in. So that's why I think it's a terrible feature, guys. That's why I think it's bad. I think it should be removed. Its only purpose, its sole purpose, is on a gray zone to allow more people to flood in when the demand's already met or it's not busy. It's not good. It's not good for the top dasher. It's not good for everyone else logged in who aren't top dashers. It's not good for the people who scheduled. They said, cool, this time on this night or this time on this lunch, um, I'm booking in days in advance to get that spot. So that way I'm guaranteed to get myself some work. And then suddenly the market gets flooded from dash now feature recurring uh, from people jumping into that already met demand zone. It ruins it, ruins it for the people who scheduled for everyone. It's a bad feature. And now I understand that people are going to come back and say, like, but without Dash now as a top dasher, I just can't get any shifts. Yeah, okay, cool. You can't get any shifts. Well, that means it's not busy. Or, or, um, schedule. Schedule. You're a top dasher. You get an extra day in advance to do schedules than everyone else. So book your schedules in. Schedule in your work. If you say, oh, but you know, like I just like to click and dash now and you know, whatever it might be. Well, you know, if it's a light red, red or dark red, um, it's open. Um, it's saying, cool, the demand's not being met here. So you can log in, but you don't need the top dash, a dash now feature for that. Um, if you're targeting a gray area with dash now, you're just saturating an already met market. You're saturating it. You're not doing yourself any favors. You're not doing every other driver any favors there. So that's why it's a bad feature. If you're like, well, there's too many drivers on the road anyway, so I have to use top dash or dash now to get a spot. Well, yeah, that's a different problem. That's a different problem. There's too many drivers in the market. Well, what should you do if there's too many drivers in the market and you're a top dasher? Schedule, schedule. Just have some responsibility for yourself and schedule in your dash. That way, people who aren't top dashers, as an example, won't be able to schedule in because you've got that full day advance on booking on them. Early bookings, guys, you can block out shifts from people who aren't top dashers, but I'm not saying to do that, of course. Um, I'm just saying that you have options there available. And if DoorDash has hired way too many people in your area, well, so be it. The work sharing around, multi-app, find other apps, find other platforms, balance the workout, spread the workout. Yeah, uh, anyway, that was a rant, <laughs> rant and a half. Uh, Top Dasher sucks. Uh, the end, signing off. See ya.